Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, February 28th, 2024. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth looking at a leap year February tomorrow. Sunday, March 3rd, we got a third quarter moon visible in the early morning sky. Sunspots, big one, didn't uh, blast Earth like it could have, and it's now rotating away from us. Interesting lineup of four in a row here. It was even a more straight line a couple days ago. And it's just a weird coincidence. Looking at drought conditions, drought has lessened slightly in the northern mountains and a little bit in the southwest, but not much change. Looking better across all the plains overall over the last month or two. Looking nationally, again, a little less drought in the southwest. Uh, we got the big fire in Texas, one of the largest fires in Texas history um, with the smoke there, but it's not affecting Colorado. Looking at the snowpack, kind of zip through January and February and getting into it, try to stop. Uh, we are right here at 96% statewide and it's, you know, that's really good. It's very close to uh, the median. So, all right, well, we'd like to get above and get some surplus or feed the Colorado, but not so far that has not happened. Precipitation wise, we do have more water that went into the mountains. Uh, for severe weather, we have some convection way down south and on the east and moves across Texas the next day and into the south, but nothing severe. Looking nationally, we were dry here. Got that storm down in the, the uh, Mexico border passing along. Uh, snow far south of the state. And then for Friday, the next system is approaching, but it's not here yet. So looking at temperatures, we go from 50 to 53 for a normal high. So that's nice, we're out of the 40s, and we're out of the teens, 22 to 25, or creeping back up to the freezing mark. We have the weekend, not much expected. Next week, a lot of model confusion. In fact, you'll see just in a day, my graphic doesn't show a Tuesday snowstorm. So here's water vapor, got the deep south storm, another one down here, and the next one gathering in the Pacific Northwest. So. The next event for us is Sunday noon. It looks like rain showers, temperatures in the 50s. Um, maybe a bit of snow if it comes down a little harder. Mountains get a little more snow. Uh, then a deeper trough hits Tuesday. And a pretty good shot of upslope snow, but it's going to be moving fast. And so far, we've had a number of storms this far out that have just kind of faded. We've gotten a little precipitation and wind and not much. So we'll see if it's a fade storm or not. So let's take a look at everything in motion. We got the big ridge giving us abnormally warm temperatures again. Here comes the trough sinking in the west. And for Sunday, there's a little ripple that comes through. And then the trough begins to sharpen up some. By Tuesday, it digs through the state and then lifts up into the Great Lakes and away to Canada. Behind that, there's another system, but again, this is changing a lot. Each model run looks very different. At the end of the week, another deep trough coming in. I just wouldn't, wouldn't put a lot of confidence in that. For temperatures, here's our abnormal warmth under the ridge. We have that storm deep south with cool air with it. By Sunday, watch closely here. We have air, colder air coming in right here, but just barely comes through. In fact, the front seems to stop along the interstate. Tuesday, the cold air does finally break through, push down into Texas, and the entire western part of the nation gets chilly. Then Thursday, Friday, there's the confusion about the next system after that. Again, I won't, wouldn't be very confident about that. For water vapor, not much to see in this. Normally, I don't play this through the winter, but it does illustrate the storms. So here's Saturday, we have dry conditions. Sunday, a little bit of moisture in there. Yeah, a little bit there, it's just not much. Then the dry air comes down. Uh, looking at dew points, I'm just gonna look at Sunday because it's even less important or less notable for Tuesday. There's a little ribbon of moisture that comes through on Sunday and then very dry air comes in. So, yeah. So let's take a look at the precipitation for Friday into Saturday morning. 
Saturday noon. There's Saturday sun, Sunday storm, a little low to the south. Uh, it does sit there for a little bit, then the snow builds across the plains briefly. It's like a 12 hour period. And then it's away Wednesday noon. Thursday noon is a low forming. What's it going to do? Rain, snow right there. Then snow backs over a little bit. Really uncertain forecast. So over the next five days, mountain precipitation, not much on Long I-25. Next five days for snow, mountains again. Next 10 days, some precipitation goes out on the plains and we might see a few inches, uh, especially west of Interstate 25. So 50s and 60s, Saturday almost 70. Oh, wow. And then way too warm for much snow along the plains. And then this could become an actual Monday night, Tuesday snowstorm and could even be significant snow. So put an X through that. It's just how much the models are changing. It's a new month, so outlook. We have equal chances, according to the Weather Service, of, of above or below normal temperatures and above normal chances of precipitation. So check out Longmont Leader for frequent weather updates and great local news. This has been Chief Meteorologist wishing you to keep looking up.